Amal Kumar sharing with you a question on piecewise function. The question here is, find the value of a and b for the following function to be continuous in the domain of real numbers. So this is a function which is made up of three different pieces. If it has to be continuous, then the pieces have to get joined together at these points, x equals to 2 and x equals to 3. Individually, all these functions are otherwise continuous right so this has a discontinuity at 2 right and this function is always continuous this is a linear function always continuous okay now basically what we need to do is we have two variables a and b we need to get two equations once we have two equations we can actually solve for a and b right now let's begin from the very first one it is x square minus 4 divided by x minus 2 when x is less than 2. So what is its right limit? I mean, where will it end at 2? What is the expected value of this function at 2? That should be same as the value of this function at 2. Now remember, x is greater than or equal to 2. So at 2, the value is this function. So for this function to be continuous at 2, we should substitute 2 here evaluate and to their evaluate and these two values should be same then it's continuous at two right now if you substitute two in the first one you get something over zero uh, which cannot be found and therefore we have to use some techniques so let's analyze the top part which is x square minus four over x minus two it could be factored as x plus two times x minus two over x minus 2 this cancels out so we get x plus 2 remember here since x is less than 2 we could cancel this out right we know x is not equal to 2 okay so that's fine so this function could be actually written as x plus 2 now the idea is what is the value of this function at 2 it should be seen as the value of ax square minus bx plus 1 at 2, right? So we can substitute 2 here, right? So we get 2 plus 2 should be equals to substituting 2 here, we get a times 2 square, let me write this, minus b times 2 plus 1, or we say 4 is equals to 4a minus 2b plus 1, taking 1 to this side, we get 3 equals to 4a minus 2b right so with that we get one equation this equation we get from these two analyzing at x equals to 2 is it okay now we can get the other equation from the other two equations we can take x equals to 3 and equate these two so let's do that part so when you do 3 you get a times 3 square minus b times 3 plus 1 should be equals to 4 times 3 minus a plus b. Now that gives you 9a minus 3b plus 1 equals to 12 minus a plus b. Bringing a's and b's together on the left side, this gives you 9a plus a minus 3b minus b equals to 12 minus 1 or 10a minus 4b equals to 11. So that becomes our equation number 2. So we have two equations. So this one we got from these two. For x equals to 3. Now you could do elimination or substitution. Elimination seems to be a better option. So so the equation number 1 can be multiplied by 2. Let me do that right here since I'm running out of space here. So if I times that by 2, I could write this 6 equals to 8a minus 4b. And let me call this as my equation 3. Is it okay? I times this one by 2. Both sides. Now, what we are going to do is, if I subtract one from the other, that means if I do equation 2 minus 3 so let, let's use this space 2 minus 3 
then what happens? So what we are doing now is combining these two equations. So basically we have two equations. We have to do elimination or substitution methods to find the answer. 10a minus 8a is 2a, right? So we have 2a. Minus 4b minus 4b is 0. And here 11 minus 6 is 5. And that gives me a equals to 5 over 2 or 2.5, whatever, either way. So once we have a value, we can find the value of b using one of our equations, right? So let me substitute. So now we'll call this as our equation number 4. Is it okay? So we'll substitute 4 in 1. These are simple steps to follow. 4 is a value. We'll substitute this value in equation 1, which is 3 equals to 4 times a values, 5 by 2 is better here, okay, minus 2b, so we get 3 equals to 5 times 20 times, divided by 2 is 10, minus 2b, and rearranging, we get 2b equals to 7, which implies b equals to 7 over 2, is it okay, or 3.5, 3.5. So we get our answer. Let me write down the answer here. Answer is A equals to 2.5 and B equals to 3.5. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope these steps help you to solve such questions. Feel free to share your questions and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.